Right, I've got the bull pinion shaft set up in the lathe here. Um, it's round about two and a half thousandths when indicating it. I've got brass shims in as well and I've cleaned it up. So now we're just going to see if we can cut out this seal. Probably run about 190 I think. Just going to set a zero uh, the dial gauge because I don't really want to damage that bearing. I should get the first bit out first, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Come loose, call it the carbide insert. Turn it around anyway. See if I can get rid of some of that stuff from in there. The packing material. Bearing's moving anyway. Might take a minute or two.
part of it to come out. Let's clean that up and then we'll see what's left. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the smoke was getting pulled in there like a chimney. Let's see if we can get this packing out of the road. And these seals have probably been in here for. 62 years. They're older than me. Just. We really want to see where the bearing is so we don't get the cutter going into it. Shoot the beer and then re grease it, I think. Make sure the grease nipple's working. There's a grease nipple up here, I think. Right, so if we work away, that's the back there. We'll try and work our way in. Hopefully, there's enough at the back to. Let's go this again. There's a race there, but it's not really bearing, but I think the race has come forward. So I'm going to machine out this bit here.
Alright, we've got the seal out, but I'm not sure what's happened to the bearing. Might have accidentally machined part of it. I'm just seeing things. Oh, the bearing's still there. There is a heap of ball bearings in here. Maybe, the, maybe I'm just seeing things. Hmm, just seeing things actually. That's not so bad. Yeah, I know what they say. Old age doesn't come itself. Right, we've got the front of the... I think there's still a wee lip there, but we'll see if we can get this back bit out first. I definitely, oh, it's, you know what it is? It's, it's the inside of the seals, like corrugated. Right, have another bash. If I clean up here, but I come out. Now I sometimes wonder what I did before I had a lathe because it's so handy for doing all kinds of jobs. Right, I think if we try and machine this bit here at the front out Yeah, if we try and machine our way in here I think we'll get it I don't want to damage the bearing at the back. Let's rock. Just have a clean up again. Not far off it there. Still a, a little lip there. 
so just need a ellipse from there in. There's the bearing. Which seems to stop turning. I think it's just because the metal's pushed up against it. See if I can machine it up to it and hope it comes flying out. Bearing's okay, it's turning. Still a lot of old oil in it and grease. Probably wash it out with WD 40 and then get some new grease in it. But we can do that out of the lace, that's okay. Now Keeps doing that. Seems to like being down there. So what we'll do now is we'll chuck it up the other way around because I need to uh, scuff out a bit the bush we put in last time. There wasn't enough room for it. So I might as well do that and that's me finished with this. But, uh, that's great getting the seal out like that. So I'll just, uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready, all chucked up and everything to do the other end. Yeah, uh, we've got the shaft turned round, I've got the bearing out and cleaned it and that. Uh, so I'll just dial this in a bit, it's about two and a half hours and it's enough for what we are doing. I'm not doing rocket science. So what we're going to do is open up this. A bit more light, I'll show you. need to open up this diameter here because once you uh, the seal you get is bigger than bigger than the shaft so I have to make a bush for the shaft and then it won't go through this hole so we need to open that up a bit so that's what we're going to do now and then something important after that cup of tea anyway I've cleaned the lathe up it was getting really mucky Right, let's get back to the action. Uh, well, there's not that much action. Right, this is cast, so I'll lay some stuff on the, the waves because I've heard uh, professional machinists say it's not actually that great for the waves because it's soft. So just put a bit of paper on. Goggles on and here we go.
measures. Should have a little measurement here. I suppose we could measure that. Do it in meters would be easier. That's 23 millimeters. And it's not going to work, is it? Make it up with this. Should have got the zero. It's only made bigger for the shaft to go through, it's not that important. So, millimeters, that's 65.15 mil now, so I'll see what the shaft is. Of a short grease off of here for a start. Right, we need to put a, a bigger bit on there, see if we can find a seal for it. Anyway, how much bigger? Oh, plenty. That's measuring. 59.11 and that's 65 so that's four millimeters extra um pretty sure the shaft isn't that big Let's see if we can find it see right find the seals yeah i'd remind in the hub there the thinner one to get it from Mayhill tractors. So, shaft. I'll just do a measure the inside roughly. It's looking like 64.47. Which is not far off. I think I might take another couple of passes on here. Oh, I'm happy to take it and set it all up again. This is the external seal, so. It fits no bother. Front goes in front of the bearing. And they're all plastic now. Right, let's take a couple of Yeah, another ten thousands off and make sure. I'd rather it was too big than too wee. Right, so that should be that sorted. What we're measuring now. Fifth, 65.88, so that should be enough to clear it, I think. Yeah, because if you look there, look, it's, it's right up to the the metal, so that's good, that'll be enough. Still a bit of metal there for the strength of it and that. And get the hoover in, hoover out of the filings here and there. That's after we have the tea. Okay, yeah, our next job is making the bush. Which will be from this. Turn it to size, but both take it centre out and outside down. 
a little Megler bush. I think I've only got one bit left, so let me shoot it straight. Anyway, I'll bring you back when we're all set up ready for that. Uh, might not be today, it might be tomorrow. We'll see how it's going on. Okay, that's all for now. I'll bring you back when I'm ready.